only a few sections of Chicago's borders, transition as seamlessly between the city and one of its neighboring suburbs. If you cross North Avenue on any of these side streets in this neighborhood, you would not notice any difference between the well-maintained lawns, tree-lined streets, and brick single-family homes of the city's Galewood neighborhood and those of its border suburb, Oak Park. Even my destination, this small stone chapel design blends in nicely with the neighborhood, facing North Avenue from the Chicago side. I walked through the open wooden doors at the front entrance, and a small group of people were chatting and catching up in the small lobby as I walked by. An older man greeted me and introduced himself. The inside of the main hall matches its countryside chapel exterior. Small yellow and blue stained glass windows filter the sunlight shining in. In the back corner, colorful coffee mugs decorated the walls of a coffee stand. The two sections of padded chairs in the hall were flanked on the left side by tables where people could sit with their coffee or tea and where young children could sit to draw and color. Wood panels built in an A-frame structure formed the roof of this small and inviting space. A brick archway formed the backdrop for the front area, where a few microphones, a drum set, and a piano seemed to be more than enough for the five-person band who led the audience in song. I looked around at the audience members joined in the singing. Although there were only a few dozen people assembled here, there was a mix of individuals who appeared to reflect the many walks of life represented in the areas surrounding this building. The journey continues on the west side, at the corner of North Avenue and Rutherford.